In this video I'm going to show you how to repair your DC jack on your Toshiba Satellite L655-S5146. That's the model number for this. You want to take out your battery and before you go and working on something like this you want to make sure you have a soldering iron and lead based solder. I'm going to go ahead and order the part on eBay. You can just search for your model number and put DC jack. Also, if, you, if you're not comfortable with doing something like this, you can always contact me on Facebook. I do it at a reasonable price. And you cover the shipping. And we'll get your laptop fixed. So, I've already got the battery out. I started taking these screws out here. It's helpful when you have a little screwdriver like this. I got this at Walmart. And I've magnetized the tip so I can take the screws out. So as you see below. I always put all my screws in the same bin. I'm not worried about the screws mixing. This is going to be a full repair video you're going to see from start to finish on how to take it apart Basically, you're going to be taking your computer completely apart. And there's a lot of screws involved with this. And take your hard drive out next. And on your hard drive you have this plastic flap. Pull this way. Lift it up a little bit and hard drive comes out. Take this screw out here. And this screw here loosens for the CD ROM drive, DVD ROM drive. Now, your Wi Fi card, you need to take and make sure you know the orientation for this. So this side the white wire goes to and the opposite side the black wire goes to. You're going to take these wires off. Be very gentle with that. Don't break it. You don't have to take the memory out. You can leave the memory there. I don't think you have to take the Wi-Fi out. So I got all of these screws. 
except for this one here, which I've missed. Okay, so I've gotten all of the screws except for this one over here, and I'm worried about it. It'll come out when I pop the case. You have two more screws here where the CD-ROM was. Next step is you're going to flip your computer up like this, and now you'll see the keyboard. Well, there's a tab here at the top of the keyboard, and sort of between the keyboard itself and the main frame, there's going to be this sort of black plastic tab here. And you can take your, your screwdriver. Be best if you had a flat tip. And you're gonna poke under this. And so this thing here, it just pops up. And then it's able to be removed. This keyboard has one, two, three, four screws here to take off. You lift your keyboard up like this. Normally it just slides out. In this step here, you fold it facing this way. There's a little black tab. You pull that up. You lift it up and you pull out gently. The keyboard is removed. Now this part, you have. I'm not sure what you can and can't see. You have that screw, that one, that one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one to take out. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. You also want to take and lift that up, lift that one up. Be gentle with your speaker wire here. And this is your video cable for your screen. It normally has its own little tape much like the keyboard, and you pull, and you don't want to do any damage to this connector whatsoever.
that one was in there pretty hard. Okay. Now I'm going to remove my top screws here. At this point, if I were you, I would get my soldering iron plugged in, get it nice and hot. Make sure you don't buy the solder from Walmart. I buy soldering iron from Walmart all the time. I just don't use their solder. You can go to Radio Shack and you can get the solder from Radio Shack. Just make sure it's a leaded solder. The reason I say that because lead free solder takes forever for it to heat up with the solder irons you can buy at Walmart for five bucks. So, all of your screws are out. And here's the easy part you can go on the one side, typically on your CD ROM side, and you're going to lift up. Brace yourself for this. And if you get all the screws and stuff out, you'll be able to get it all out. Which I, I missed another screw here. I want to make sure you get all the screws out on the bottom of the case. And now your top part there just came out. And here is your motherboard. There is one cable on the bottom I forgot to show. This cable right here next to the, to the RAM, maybe to your memory. And you want to disconnect that one. I'm not sure exactly what it's for. But you want to make sure it gets out. There. So, this connector that I disconnected earlier from the bottom of this is the connector for your power. It's that one that I did not know what it was. Living room. And the connector for that is actually over here. So you don't need a soldering iron, you just need to buy a new harness for this. And you can look that up on eBay and buy yourself a new harness. So hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.